Welcome back, everybody, for another Let's Play as Portugal for Civ 5 Brave New World. Alright, so in this episode, we'll be exploring a little bit more and trying to establish connections with uh, other civilizations on other parts of the map. Over here, we still have only one city uh, for the Songhai, but the um, Shoshone have been expanding pretty rapidly, so we might be a little bit competitive with them. Um, we'll get some naval protection over here by the Barbarians, and we'll try to get over there so they can meet up before a naval unit might take out the swordsman. But we're building the Oracle here, and a library, and a market, so we're trying to develop these cities the best we can. And then we're going to have to settle one more city somewhere over here, but we're not going to worry about that quite yet. We have a worker right here. Let's see. This deer. Go right over there. That should be good. Okay. What were we doing over here? Oh, there's copper. Let's go work that. Okay. Um... We can end the turn right there and see what happens. Of course, Chichen Itza, I never get it. Uh, the computer players always seem to go straight for civil service before the other technologies, it seems like. Mausoleum, okay. So, that's pretty common for me to not get the Chichen Itza. I'm doing pretty well in production, though. Ah, and there's a boat, okay. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, maybe not. Let's just do this. It seems like this is the better option, but I don't know if it is. This is a really difficult area to take down because... There's nowhere to get onto the land. We get a 50% penalty no matter what. I almost feel like we should just wait until we get more units out there. But that's not happening anytime soon. So let's just try. That wasn't that bad. I think we can work with that. Alright, that should be good. Okay. Yeah, Chichen it's uh I hardly ever get it. Actually in real life though, I have been to the area where the Maya lived in the Yucatan Peninsula. I went there on a cruise with my family and we did not go to Chichen Itza because it was way further inland I think. Um, but we went to some other runes, um, have no idea what the name was. There was a few choices. There was, like, Tulum, which is a big set of runes, I guess. Uh, this was in Belize, or, no, not in Belize. This was in Mexico. Um, and we saw these runes that were spo supposedly, they were in the jungle. I went with my dad and my brother. They were supposed to be runes of... Like, where some wealthy people would live in kind of like a resort area of the Mayan Empire or the Mayan state, whatever it was at the time. Um, and it was very interesting. Um, there was all kinds of, like, small pyramids we could go up and see, and it was just an interesting thing. But Chichen Itza was not what we saw. Okay. Now, since we're the Portuguese, I always will go for commerce or exploration, and it looks at this point like commerce isn't going to really do us that much good, so exploration is probably the better idea. So, adopting this, we get plus one movement and plus one sight for naval units, naval combat units, and I can build the Louvre as soon as I get that technology that requires it. So, I'll do this again. Finally, one of my boats sinks. Okay. Everything else is looking good. Let's see how these guys are doing. 
I'm friends with Askia. Let's see if he would do this. Ooh, he would, but I will not. Let's see if they would. Good. So it looks like Pocatello is going to be the real problem if there is one. Songhai could easily settle, like right here by the iron or further south. But it looks like they're not going to. I don't know why. Normally they're a lot more expansionist, I think. I'm getting good trade from the Shoshone, though, so I'm not going to worry about that. What I really need to worry about is if I'm going to settle further north here, or if I'm going to settle here. This looks like a better area because there's gems here. Education is the best provision for old age. Alright. Um... I think I'll get these lumber mills going. Hopefully I can... Nope. Still not enough. Jeez. Yes! It worked. And I don't think they'll be able to wipe us out. By any means. So... Now that that's handled, let me just go over here and kill this guy. Fabulous. Okay. So next up, what would be the best choice here? I would say compass or guilds, but let's check out the tech tree. Now as the Portuguese Empire, we're supposed to specialize in trading and exploring. Which basically is all about gold. So this would actually help with the trade routes. Oh, actually. I was actually thinking of going for guilds. For gold. Or even compass. Just for getting a lot closer to that astronomy, which I really could use. But... It would be quicker if I went two, five, total five turns engineering metal casting, because then I could build workshops, which would help me build these naval units even faster when I do get to them. And I could build a trader out here. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. Who knows if I'll regret it, but whatever. Oracle's almost done. Hopefully nobody steals it. We need to get our religion out into Braga and Porto, too, as fast as possible. Um, okay, why not? Yeah, that'll help us. What? They have the Great Mosque and they don't even have a religion? What the? Why would they do that? I didn't even know the AI could do that. I thought they were smart enough at least to know better than that. Like, that's just taking it from somebody that could have used it. There's no religions left, so... The Koreans and I, Eastern Orthodoxy, it's probably Byzantium or Ethiopia. Buddhism could be anybody. I don't know. Very strange. I will build a farm by the river there. Okay, perfect. Here we go. You know what? I don't really need this, but just for future reference... I'm going to get this so I can use this guy and not get penalties in the future. What is this? This is not a good idea to be attacking him, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to go for universities pretty soon anyways. I just want to get my science buildings out of the way because what I like to do is after you get the National College completed, if you have universities built in all your cities, which would only be three cities here, then you can build the, what is it, the, I forget what it's called, Oxford, yeah, Oxford University, which gives you a free tech. And I'm, by that time in most games, I am just getting to astronomy. And if you get astronomy, and then you get the tech, like, within a couple turns, you can automatically go straight to navigation, which pretty much gives me domination of the seas for at least 20 to 30 turns. At least. In a normal game, that's not on too hard of a difficulty. 
so that's a very good choice. I do need more military units. My gold is good enough right now that I don't need to worry about that. Well, honestly, I don't really need more military units. I mean, I got these guys pretty much handled. I'll build another boat if I need to. This city should definitely be going for the university, though. This city... Oh, I, I hate to do it, but... It's a good idea. I gotta do the university there. Come on, Oracle! One more turn. Don't do it. Don't take it. Don't steal it. Yes. Keep going down the list. Awesome, I got it. Voila. Oh. Crap. Ugh, shouldn't have done that. Should not have attacked. Oh well, we got the Oracle. Yay. Instrumental or mechanical science is... Okay, we're definitely sending in backup. But let's get the policy first. Plus three production in coastal cities. Awesome. Look how quick we can do all this. Okay, we're sending in a trireme. Go for metal casting. Oh my gosh. Pocatello entered the Renaissance. So he's number one in science, that means. Which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, my trade with him will give me some of the science anyways. I will send this trireme in there. Oh, he's over there. I wonder why. You know what? I'm just going to send one more in. Just to make sure he doesn't try to screw around here. Maybe I can upgrade them later. Oriana, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even friends with the Shoshone, so I'm just going to spy on them. Steal their technologies, why not? Songhai will back me up. Alright, let's see. Still good with Singapore? Fabulous. I should go for Biblo soon. I just don't get why they're not expanding. The Songhai should be expanding. Where did that guy go? Over there. What in the world? I love how the city-states have more advanced technology than I do. I don't think... Do I have it yet? Oh, no, I do have it. Pikemen. But I still haven't built any. As soon as somebody gets it, the city-states have it. It's like, what? I'll go to the National College. Get that out of the way. I'll attack you. You stay here for protection. Next turn. We're going to get metal casting done. And then, after I finish producing the National College, I'm going to go straight for the workshop. Because that'll help us get done with these science buildings a lot faster. What is this Korean warrior doing? When pieces of bronze or gold or iron break, the metalsmith welds them together again in the fire. And the bond is established. Alright. I'm gonna let this guy take it down so we can get some experience here. Or I could have let the archer, but whatever. Ah, and there we go. Now they have a trireme, so they're upgrading their <laughs> barbarian arsenal, I guess. Okay, so now that that's done... Let's just go straight for the compass. They're still neutral. Did I? I gave them open borders, I guess. So that's why the warrior's over here to explore. I would say of all the civilizations in the game, the Koreans are the worst at exploring because they're replacement for the Caravelle, which is the first naval unit that can explore in ocean tiles across the sea is the turtle ship which is an amazing unit like I love it Korea is actually a great civ to play as um, the turtle ship is extremely powerful but 
it can't enter ocean tiles, so it's a more of a defensive unit. So Korean players are usually more defensive players, but not always. I love uh, using the turtle ships to take people's cities out. They're really strong. All right, let's see. Finish this guy off. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So we cleared them out finally. Hopefully they don't respawn. You can go in there and heal. You can just chill over there for a moment. Too bad they didn't want us to clear them out. I wonder if Singapore did. Nope. They want to trade her out with us, Singapore. I should get Porto uh, to have a cargo ship to send to Singapore. All right. Oh my god. Pocatello was plotting against me. What the heck? Marching a surprise attack. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Defensive pact. Now when you attack me, you're going to get your ass kicked. And I'm going to build a fort. I can't believe Pocatello... They're not even an aggressive civilization. This is surprising. You know, sometimes these spies are full of crap, though. They just lie. I swear to God they do. So, this could be all a lie. And things could be alright, but I'm not taking chances. I'm going straight for the... Pikeman. I'll finish that, and then go, I'll go for the unit next turn. I think we'll be alright, though. I highly doubt they're actually... Be going to attack us. Half the time when they say, oh, so-and-so is going to attack so-and-so, you know, my spies, and I'll share my intrigue. And... Okay, yep, they're coming. Oh, Jesus, no. It's okay. It's just going to be World War... like, zero. Alright. World War Zero. The very beginning, before anything else even starts. Hell, I wonder if they would even do a defensive pack, no? I don't have chivalry, or whatever. Awesome. We can spread our religion, too. You get that fort going, you get working on that, and let's pump out some units. Get the navy over there. Oh! You know what? I think we'll leave leave the barbarians alone for a while. Maybe they'll screw with uh, Mosan Kani over there. Definitely won't be invading them to get revenge because they have the Great Wall, but I will certainly pillage some of their tiles if they don't destroy me. Alright, let's see what my beliefs were again. So I get extra gold and extra production and food and awesome. Okay. Here comes the declaration. Oh, 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 no. Wait a minute. Holy crap, they have musket men? Oh, Jesus. Hey, give me some more. It almost looks like they're not going for me. They're going, like, through my territory. But they have a trebuchet. So they're clearly going after a city. Let's go right here. Watch this. Wonderism. Oh, he is following me. Just die. Oh, I wonder if I could get Biblos on my team. I got a ton of money. I can do that. 500. Yeah! Now they're really in for some... Total war. Okay. Oh my god, if we can get the now, we can totally take them down. We can just go city to city. Oh my god. I wonder if they're just gonna... No, if they declare war on me, their units move back to the border. Well, let's cross our fingers, nothing happens here. 
I got one unit coming here. Got one from there. No, you're going to declare war on me. Get the heck out of here. I said no! What the? Didn't they just say no? Jesus. Oh my god. This is big. I think there might be a war coming. I'm gonna name this unit. Lisbon Pike. From the Great Lisbon War. That is about to occur. Send him to defend there. We gotta get ready for this war. This is gonna be big. I can tell already. Get the border sealed there. Spread the religion. Oh my god. Okay. I wonder... I don't know if I should do... If I do the workshop, I can pump out units a lot faster, but... I think I should just go for another pike. I'll try to get three pikemen and then I'll start building whatever else. Oh, and then I, well, I actually have a pikeman right there. I'll do one more pikeman, then I'll build a workshop, then I'll build a now or two. Maybe Gallius. No, I'll upgrade these guys. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, look at this. The barbarians are on my team indirectly, going after the fish. That's awesome. I wish you could pay the barbarians like they're mercenaries. But I got Biblos, Singapore, and Songhai all on my team for my coalition to stop the war-hungry Shoshone. I can't even say that. I mean, they look so nice. Will they do it? See, uh -huh. of course not, because they want to kill me. Huh? Yeah. All right. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to save. Uh, the next video, I really don't know what's about to happen. It looks like they're going to declare war on me. So it might be a huge war that takes the island and screws everything up. I'm going to settle down here probably, or up here. Still not 100% sure. I think it would be better economically, actually, if I settled up here, because I could trade with Biblos and Singapore. But strategically, I could gain more territory and influence if I settled down here, and actually would be closer to Seoul. But we don't know yet. So next video, a lot's about to unfold, and I'll see you there.